What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video in the last video one of you guys commented for me to do a Clippers rebuild and a lot of you were liking it so today of course I'm bringing you a Clippers rebuild also guys by the way we're like less than 100 subscribers away from 20,000 subs so can we reach it today is that possible help me out here now, the Los Angeles Clippers roster, of course, is already pretty much a championship team. They are going to be without Kawhi this season, but since we have been doing fantasy style, I'll just leave his injury out of here. He's healthy, okay? It's fine. Don't don't get too upset about it. He's healthy. All right. Reggie Jackson, Serge Ibaka, Marcus Morris. Obviously, there's actually a lot of salary on this team, so there is definitely the way we can make some trades here because I definitely want to make this team better. Kawhi and Paul George, I think I'm going to keep around, obviously, but the other, you know, other guys on the roster, not so safe. We got Marcus Morris's big contract. We got... Luke Kennard's big contract down here at Bledsoe's on a big contract like there's some things we can do with this team so we're gonna go ahead of course make this team better than it already is and we're gonna try to win a championship in season number one that's the goal here the first trade we're gonna be doing is getting Kyle Lowry from the Miami Heat now uh, obviously Kyle Lowry this is kind of a short-term solution because his peak end age is probably pretty bad on here I would imagine he's probably gonna start to go down in overall although I might adjust it we'll see but getting Kyle Lowry to start this video off to be our new starting point guard I think is a big help now I love Reggie Jackson on this team and he played very well in the playoffs but I think having Kyle Lowry here is just like the perfect point guard to have so already love this start and now the Milwaukee Bucks are offering me Drew Holiday so I mean I am gonna go ahead and take Drew Holiday from them just because Drew Holiday of course well, that would make one of the best defensive lineups ever like to be honest so we'd have Drew Holiday but we kind have to decide what we want to do between unless we wanted to play like Kawhi or Paul George at the power forward which we could do and then we could have a backcourt of Kyle Lowry and Drew Holiday which would be interesting to have so right now if I did do something weird like that so let's say we moved uh Paul George's small forward who doesn't move an overall at all so look in the rotation right now it would be Kyle Lowry Drew Holiday Paul George Kawhi Leonard and Sergi Bach I mean Defensively, that's pretty nasty. And then the bench is Zubach, Nicholas Batum, Terrence Mann, and Justice Winslow. So actually, this is actually already off to a really good start. Now, we don't really have... We could also move Drew Holiday's shooting guard. He didn't even move him there. I hope he goes up in overall. He used to, so... Uh, no, he goes down. That's actually rather unfortunate. Uh, I guess 2k kind of adjusted that whenever you used to move your holiday to uh, shooting guard He'd go up like crazy, but we could still do it and we could probably still get away with it if we really wanted to do that Or we could just leave your holiday at you know the point guard and he'll be an 85 overall it, it really doesn't matter But either way, I love this start I still might make one more trade though just because the end of the bench you know, it's not that good. In my last trade before we simulate the first season, I'm going to be grabbing Kendrick Nunn and Wen Ungton from the Los Angeles Lakers. We're going to be trading Winslow, Jordan Noir, and Markeith Morris and get a very solid backup point guard. So just like that, this is what our brand new team looks like. And for some reason, they want to start Wayne Ellington. Actually, 2K, I'm sorry, but no, we're not doing that. Uh, let's make sure Wayne Ellington doesn't start. Uh, thank you, and uh, we'll make sure that that doesn't happen, and we'll have a actual good rotation. To just did, we have Drew Holiday, Kyle Lowry, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Sergi Baca, Zubac, Kendrick Nunn, Nicholas Batum, Terrence Mann. So looking at the rotation, I love it. The only thing I am going to do, though, is move Kyle Lowry and Drew Holiday just because I'd rather have Drew Holiday at the two because he used to play shooting guard in New Orleans when Rajon Rondo was there starting a point guard for them. So yeah, I love how this team looks. Now, is it going to win a championship? I don't know, but at least uh, in the first season, this looks like a lot of fun. Defensive it looks like a lot of fun and uh we should be leading the league and you know getting stops and all that so we're gonna go ahead simulate season number one and hold for a championship here in season number one how many times did i see season number one Actually, real quick, while this is simulating, I kind of wanted to just read this to you guys because I thought it was interesting. The NBA is discussing having an in-season tournament and future seasons with $1 million per player in prize money. That's what Shams tweeted. What do you guys think about that? At the end of the year, we finish up as the first seed and uh, things are looking good. We don't have anybody like, you know, as an all, you know, most valuable player or anything, but I imagine we were really good defensively. That's what my hope was. And uh, we are the first seed out West as far as our standings were concerned because 2K doesn't show you your record anymore. We went 56 and 26, so uh, this playoff should be fun. Let's simulate the play in as we get to play the eighth seeded Golden State Warriors. So you guys all know the eighth seeds and me, we don't, we don't, we don't get along. We just don't get along, man. Like. Put us, on, put us in the same room. Things are going down. With that being said, though, we do have to simulate current round. Actually, I forgot to totally show the player stats. You guys would probably love to see that. So looking at the stats, we had 25 from Paul George, 23 from Kawhi, 14 from Kyle Lowry, 13 from Drew Holiday, 12 from Nunn, 
11 from Mybaka and 10 from Zubac. Now we can simulate the first round. So simulate the current round against the Warriors. And hallelujah, we did not lose to the AFC. That's a good start. But there's something even worse than an AFC. It's called the New Orleans Pelicans. If you guys watch 2K21, I don't know if it's 2K22 yet, but in 2K21, the Pelicans were so over. Powered. It was ridiculous. They would just absolutely dominate you for no reason. Now the Pelicans roster in real life on paper, it, it's not bad, right? But they're not. They they haven't made the playoffs yet. So let's let's relax, 2K. So with that being said, somebody cut around against New Orleans, and thankfully we beat them, and we finally get the Battle of LA. But this time, obviously, it's in video game, not in real life. We've been robbed of the Battle of LA so many times, but. Hey, we're getting it here with Russell Westbrook, Kim Bays, Warren LeBron, AD, DeAndre Jordan, Carmelo, Dwight Howard, Rajon Rondo, THD, Malik Monk, and Marcus Saul, which Marcus Saul should not be on uh, the Lakers anymore, but it's fine. Somebody current round against them, and hey, we beat them in five. We're already in the NBA Finals. We're off to a fantastic start. Now we turn our attention to Philly, who have Ben Simmons, Shake Milton, Danny Green, Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid, and Drummond. All right, man. Well... Can this Clippers team win a championship in season one and break the curse? And just like that, we are so good, man. I, just hire me now, dude. Fire Doc Rivers. Uh, just whoever the GM that is there. I don't even know who's running it anymore. I don't know at the top of my head. Fire them. Call me right now. Just do it. Call me. Trust me. Of course, though, we're not going to end the video on just one championship. We haven't even been recording. We've, we haven't even been recording for 10 minutes, so why would I end it on that? But the fact that we got one out of the way is good, man. It, it's definitely a good feeling. That way, we don't have to worry about it anymore. So, as far as the staff is concerned, I mean, we did a good job. So, I guess, how much money? I have six. I have like $6 million to spend here. Okay, we could actually get a little crazy here. So, I might uh, low-key fill this out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is the first time I've actually filled out the whole staff. And for some reason, Tiago Splitter is out here as a big man coach. So uh, I can't see him. There he is. Look at that, man. Tiago Splitter. And his, honestly, his uh, ratings right there, if you look at the stars, he's pretty good. So, I mean, we filled out the whole staff. So I think we're uh, in a pretty good shape. So let's go to the draft now. So on draft night, I imagine we're going to have Drew Holiday and Kyle Lowry going down in overall, though, right now. Just because I didn't mess with their peak in ages. Uh, I would imagine Kyle Lowry is going to take it worse than uh, Drew Holiday. So I am probably going to try to trade Kyle Lowry here. Now, I don't know what I would get for him, but I am going to try. We don't have a first round pick either. We can get Lonzo Ball. I mean, I might sign up for Clay Thompson as well. Wowza. I mean, I don't think we can pass up on a Splash Brother and get a first round pick. Say less. Thank you, Golden State, for giving me Clay Thompson. And for some reason, the 76ers want to give me Ben Simmons for Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday goes back to Philly, and Ben Simmons joins the LA team or the California team he was wanting to join. So, Ben Simmons, welcome to LA. And just like that, man, I mean, defensively, again, this team is OP. Again, just like that. Just like that, it's OP again. So, love to see it. We got Ben Simmons, Clay Thompson, Paul George, Kawhi, and then of course we're probably gonna try to resign Serge Ibaka or maybe even like sign and trade him. But so far, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm, kind of, my vibes are kind of high right now with this rebuild so far. So qualifying offers, we have none. And I did turn off G League, so those guys should be gone. Someone suggested to me in the comments, don't remember their name, but shout out to you, whoever told me that you can turn off the G League because that is a big W. So I am gonna go ahead and sign Batum, and I'm gonna sign Kendrick Nunn because I think what I might do with Batum. It, and uh, Sergi Baca is low key might try to trade them for a better center just you know make the roster as best as it can be so I don't know what center that's going to be yet but I'm going to try to get somebody that's going to fit here very nicely so we're going to be getting Clint Capella from the Atlanta Hawks to get a first round pick alongside with that I feel like I've gotten Clint Capella a lot but guys I mean an 86 overall compared to a 79 overall like I don't think I pass up on that opportunity, right? So, uh, Terrence Mann, Kendrick Nunn, and then we have, uh, we should probably get like one more solid bench player, and I think we'll be ready for this next season again. So, what do we got? We got Wayne Ellington, KCP, I see. So, I'll probably just go ahead and give like Kentavious Caldwell Pope a contract. I'll give uh, probably Alfred Payton one as well, just why not? So, we'll kind of have a. Uh, a nice little, uh, and then I'll probably give Gorgie Dang one. So we'll have that for us. And just like that, I'm feeling pretty good about the way our team looks. Player progression, though, doesn't treat us all that well. Kawhi goes down in two, two overall. Paul George does as well, and Clay Thompson does. But hey, they're still very high overalls. I think we can still work with it. Ben Simmons is an 85, which is just kind of crazy to think about. This man used to be like a 92 at small forward, and just now he's like an 85. So 
the man has just gone downhill but hopefully he bounces back this season will he play in philly or will he be traded it remains to be seen still the rotation for this next season though looks like ben simmons clay thompson paul george Kawhi, uh capella zubach kendrick nunn terrence mann and mr contavious caldwell pope i mean i think this team just looks insane on paper wow just like that we've made a five-star proficiency in the defensive system i probably should have checked this last year too to see if it worked but literally every single player on this roster fits proficiency perfectly i i ain't even trying to do a five-star proficiency challenge we out here doing it bro who else is doing that so we do finish the season going 64 and 18 and points allowed per game of course we were first i mean it only makes sense we only allowed 20 or 108 points per game so awesome stuff and now of course we are back where we belong as the first seed out west looking at the player stats we had 21 from Kawhi, 21 19 17 13 and a half 10.9 9 and then six and four so let's go ahead and simulate the play-in and kind of see i okay so we got phoenix in the first round so many current round against phoenix i clicked game accidentally uh let's look at what phoenix has right now they have chris paul devin booker hart crowder and sarge i mean i don't think we should lose to this team but you never really know and just like that we beat them in five and now we get to play the dallas mavericks so have luca dyson daniels i mean i'm honestly ready to three p in this video if we can win the second one and just like that we beat them in five but now like i said earlier we get to play the pelicans pelicans though can be op sometimes so uh let's see what happens somebody current around and we beat them in seven we were down three to one but we came back and now we get to play the celtics who have schroeder smart brown tatum robert williams peyton pritchard al horford brent forbes Juan toscano and apple nader all right do we win our second championship in a row yes we do we won in six games baby that's what i'm talking about man i'm just so good at this damn game let's get it all right we gotta go one more though we've already gotten two we might as well 3p right so we do have a couple free agents we obviously want to worry about zubach just nice depth to have and then terrence man now usually you know giving these guys these big contracts it kind of makes me want to trade them for something better but i don't really want to make my bench suck so badly that we just don't have one so honestly i don't think i'm gonna mess with the team this year i think i kind of just want to run it back again i love what we have going on ben simmons clay paul george Kawhi. i mean i'm feeling it bro i love that i guess the only thing i could do is like absolutely overload the center spot and maybe go for like gobert or something crazy like that just like to make this team absolutely insane as far as you know insane defensively but i don't know man i don't know if i would even get offered that so if i did get crazy let me let me get a little weird here and i did offer this up do i get like a crazy offer i mean i saw jared allen we get russell westbrook offered it's a bonus but i mean i i kind of like where we're at right now i don't think i'm gonna make a correct uh, a crazy trade so i think what we're gonna do man we're just gonna run it right back bro i'm gonna run it right back down 2k's throat and we're gonna go for this third championship in one video so uh, unfortunately clay thompson and paul george are going down at overall quite a bit though so that is definitely a bad sign but hopefully it doesn't affect us all that much and we're still able to pull through and win this third championship in a row so very very interestingly enough we only got the eighth seed this year so we were back-to-back -back first seed and then of course i imagine with all the downgrade and overalls we only got the first or the eighth seed which this would be the first time i've actually been in the play-in actually this may not be true i've probably been in the play-in before i can't remember if i have or not i've only done five rebuilds and i literally can't remember but yeah i think with the overalls going down it makes sense sense that uh we might have missed the playoffs but i don't know wow my players are absolutely gassed and i'd not turn fatigue off because holy moly these guys are absolutely gassed right now oh my bad professive uh fatigue is on that probably would have helped if i had turned that off that probably would uh that probably would uh, eliminate why we had such a bad season. I only made this an eight-man rotation, but uh, I guess we can see if uh, we can maybe win this plan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and simcast this plan because this actually could be a lot of fun to jump into, but we'll kind of see if it's a close game or not. I may not jump in if it's not close. Okay, 40 points in the first quarter. Um, it's not looking good. We're absolutely blowing them out of the water, so yeah, I'm not jumping to this. So could we go from the plan, though, to winning this championship? I wonder, man. I absolutely wonder. So somebody playing and now we get to play the memphis grizzlies so that would be kind of wild for a three p let's somebody come around against memphis and we're up three to two and we beat them at six. Oh my dude if we come from the play-in to get this three peat i'm absolutely gonna go bananas okay we got ty ty washington jill and green rj i mean that's a pretty nasty roster but you never know man somebody current around and we beat them at five we're in the west Conference finals oh my goodness okay i kind of wanted to do a challenge eventually go from the play-in to a championship 
But we may do it right here, bro. Maybe. Might just do it. Let's go ahead. Similar current round against the... Oh, my goodness. We're up 3-1. to one. And just like that, we're in the NBA Finals, bro. Oh, my goodness. All right. Playing the Atlanta Hawks, we got uh, Trey Young, Bogey, Hunter, Collins, Unkong Wu, Kevin Herter, Cameron Reddish, Derek Rose. Still in game one. They're up 1-0. to zero. Okay, fair. Uh, they're up 2-0. to zero. Two to one. Can we even it up though? Yes, we can. Three to two lead. Oh my goodness, bro. No freaking way. No freaking way are we about to go from the play-in to get this three-peat to win this damn championship. Come on, baby. Throw me this. Throw me this dub, man. Oh my. Dude, this has been by far my best rebuild of all time. Like, it's got to be, right? Let's freaking go, bro. Let's freaking go. I'm at 21 left. Let's get it. Bro, to be honest, I almost didn't even recognize the difference between Ben Simmons or Clay. I mean, like, literally, just look. Actually, my webcam's in the way. I mean, I think you can kind of see it, actually. Look at this. Ben Simmons and Clay Thompson almost kind of look like each other. At first, they, at first glance, they did. I don't know if they actually do if you're... I might sound dumb to you right now. That's fine, though. Ben Simmons dunked this Blisco, baby. 104, 114 and 103. This team is going down the drain. And just like that, man, we went from the AFC play-in tournament to winning our third championship in a row. If that ain't a dynasty, I don't know what is, man. The Clippers have never won a championship, but we changed that today. And we were able to win three in a row. Obviously, LA has disappointed the last two years. They've been championship contender, sometimes even favorites, but you know, they haven't even got to the NBA Finals yet, bro. Haven't even got to the NBA Finals. It didn't help last year that Kawhi was hurt or whatever, but still. Um, I mean, it's just it's just not a good look. I don't even know who that is. Is that is that Stanley Johnson, man? Crispy's gonna be pissed to see him out here. All right, let's get it. Let's see what uh, Hunter wants to do. He chucks it up, misses. We got 33 seconds left, guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this banger of a video. This has by far been my best rebuild, possibly of all time. So, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Crushables. I'm saying, peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.